Hi, it's Allison. Just making a video about a pretty important topic, and that is handling objections. So I have three tips for you. Number one, know your market. Number two, make it fun. And number three, use feel, felt, found. And I'm gonna go through all three of these, okay? So the first one, know your market. Um, if you have someone who you're talking to who you don't know very well yet, maybe you met them through social media or a mutual friend, before you just start answering all their questions, like let's say they're, they're coming to you and they're asking questions about the products, about your challenge group, take a step back, take a breath, look at their Facebook page or their Instagram or wherever, whatever media you're using to communicate with them and look at, you know, their last 10 to 15 Facebook posts and pictures and just ask yourself, what kind of person are they? Um, what kind of lifestyle do they live right now? How can you relate to them? What kind of questions can you ask? Maybe are they close with their family? Did they just get married? Did they just have a baby? Um, are they doing Weight Watchers or some other kind of fitness you know, maybe we're running 5Ks, just anything that you can start to ask them personal questions about and really get to know them more than just on the surface and kind of just gain their trust. So message that person and let's say they just got married. You would say, hey girl, I just saw you recently got married. Congratulations. Where did you get married? And then just let them talk. If you ask a personal question about a detail of their life, they're probably going to like spill it. They're going to start talking to you about stuff and it becomes really fun because you connect with people so much um, faster and naturally this way. So just ask questions, get to know them on a personal level. Number two, make it fun. So if someone gives you an objection, so number one was kind of preventing an objection, I would say. If you're um, really getting to know people, you'll get less objections. So number two, make it fun. If someone gives you an objection, you might say, oh my gosh, I totally know how you feel. I felt the same way before I started, but then I found that these 30 minute workouts are so doable with my schedule, even though I'm super busy and just keep it really lighthearted. Use emoticons, use smiley faces. I like to throw in like the flexing arm and hearts and smiley faces and all that. Be lighthearted, be positive. Um, I feel like it helps people relax and feel connected to you and just don't be like pressuring them. You know, if they give you an objection, be lighthearted about it. It's not the end of the world. You're not, you're not um, desperate for a sale. You're just looking to help them. And if they're not ready for your help, then that's okay. Right? So be lighthearted, make them feel special, make them aware that you really care about them and ask questions about them. Number three, use feel, felt, found whenever possible. So I gave them an example of this in number two, but um, the beauty of this business is that we have all been at that starting place. We've been in other people's shoes where we're just starting, we're unsure about the products, we don't know if it's gonna work, if it's gonna be worth the investment. And that's a beautiful thing. You can relate to them. Use how you felt when you first started to relate and kind of assure them that it's okay. You felt that way too. And you're so glad that you just took the chance and made the investment. And also that it's a not, it's not a risky investment. If they don't, for some reason, fall in love with it, they can return it. And, you know, I always say, that never happens, but it's just nice to know that it's not, you're not taking a risk. So I would, might say something like, um, I know how you feel. I felt the same way when I started, but then I found that A, B, and C, blah, blah, blah. Or like, let's say for Shakeology, someone's saying it's too expensive. You might say, I totally know how you feel. When I first started, I honestly was broke, but I just, I just worked it into my budget and tried it. And I found that I was spending less money on groceries. I wasn't buying Starbucks or energy drinks. Um, confession, I used to buy diet pills. Yeah, super healthy, I know. 
but I threw all that stuff out the window when I found Shakeology. I wasn't wasting my money on things that didn't work. Um, and I just felt so much healthier on the inside and that's something that's really priceless to me and it's less expensive than a Subway sandwich or coffee at Starbucks with so much more nutrients. Um, you know, I went from being desperate to just feeling so healthy and optimistic and happy. And so when you're, when you're talking with people, just have faith that you have this gift to share and just respond genuinely and vulnerably and just try to make their day better, add value to them. Even if someone's answer is no, I really just remember it's not, it means not right now. And just because they're not ready yet, they're, you're planting that seed and you always want to, even if they say no, keep the conversation in a positive light. Keep that conversation happy, lighthearted, and positive, even if they say no. And that's like, you kind of leave a taste in someone's mouth after you talk to them, right? And that impression they have of you and the way you make them feel when you talk, that's what they're going to remember. So if they say no to you, but um, after Christmas in a couple months, when they're feeling like crap and they see that you had another challenge group starting and what they're doing isn't working for them, they're going to say, she was really nice and obviously whatever she's doing is working for her. Let's just try this and they're going to reach out to you. So remember that you're planting seeds. No means not right now. Make the objections fun. It's not the end of the world and still use it to build that relationship. So I hope this has been helpful for you. Just make people's days better Whoever you talk to, add them, add value, and just make them smile and feel special. <laughs>